the Outback Bowl. Minnesota against Auburn, P.J. Fleck against Gus Malzahn. Now that is a fun matchup, right? I don't think I'm crazy for that. Like, it, these are two fun coaches. It's 12 p.m. It's the same time on ESPN. It's in Tampa, Florida. Auburn, 0-7 against the spread their last seven bowl games as a favorite of six or more. Uh, it's happened two times under Gus Malzahn. 2014 against Wisconsin. 2017 against UCF. Lost those games outright. Um, look, Auburn, number one Massey strength of schedule in the country. Minnesota, number 44. At, obviously, we saw the kind of gauntlet that Auburn had to go through to get to nine wins. Minnesota finished ten and two, got stomped by Wisconsin. I don't think that was, or I don't think that Auburn is quite as good offensively as Wisconsin is. Um, I'm, I was not sure which direction to go here. Uh, obviously, in Tampa, SEC speed. From everything that I've read, all the reports, those Auburn seniors. And even the juniors that are going to go pro are really pumped up about this game. They want to go out. They want to get that 10th win. In that circumstance, I mean, I looked at Auburn last year against Purdue. I thought Purdue would want to be there more. And I still took Auburn because I thought that they had more speed. They had better players. They had all that. And I think that this is the case this go-round. So I'm I'm going to go Auburn minus 7.5. I'm going under 53. Yep. Because I, I think the defense... Yeah, we're gonna go the same way here. Okay. Um, you know, ooh, I almost go over, but this is the difference between the SEC and the Big Ten. I mean, last year Auburn had one of the worst years they've had in a long time. Purdue had one of the best seasons they've had in school history. They match up in the Music City Bowl, and it's one of the greatest butt whippings a team has ever put on another team. If they want to, if they have the desire to be there, and they're not focused on doing something else they can beat anybody anywhere yeah i mean they're just there's going to be a talent gap differential pj fleck is building something at minnesota but but he's only been there a couple of years he hasn't built it yet and he doesn't have the interior offensive lineman the interior defensive lineman that you need to sustain 60 minutes of the kind of game you're going to get from Auburn. if all those guys that are nfl guys play that's the only thing i don't know about but we're assuming by the things that they've talked about so far that they want to be there if they want to be there they're going to be there and if they're going to be there then surely they're going to try hard because it's an opportunity to showcase their skills one more time to the league um i i just think it's important to do it yeah no i think uh, i think you're a hundred percent right 100 percent right all right so auburn minus seven and a half in the under 53 is the uh the unity play here 